what's up freaks this is just me and today we're gonna be talking about what i called the single straight arm pose i'm sorry guys maybe this pose has an actual proper name but to my knowledge uh, that's not the case but if you have a better name for the pose displayed on the screen right now be sure to let us know by writing a comment so this pose we're talking about today is kind of a variation of the mantis pose where instead of showcasing both arms the bodybuilders in question only showcase one of their guns and at the same time it sort of looks like a side chest i think if you fuse the side chest and the mantis together you would basically get this single strain arm pose so that's another possible name for this pose i guess the point is the one arm the bodybuilders are presenting needs to be straight, not bent and showcasing the biceps peak. Because uh, hopefully in the future I could do a video on that pose as well. So in this video we're only including this variation seen on the screen. And I'm gonna go through some competitors in the history of bodybuilding that look good in the pose. Without further ado, let's start. We have the original bodybuilder, some of the most famous bodybuilder of all time, I guess. It's this pioneer, Steve Reeves, who comes all the way from the 40s and 50s. That's a, that's a long, long time ago. I decided to show this one picture of Steve that I was able to find, even though not really is it even the pose. He is holding some sort of a saber, whatever it is. You can see that yourself. So no, the execution is not spot on, but this was the closest thing I could find to the actual pose prior to the 1960s. And Steve's physique was really aesthetic, so he looks very good in this pose. Very streamlined, uh, not that muscle bone, but he would be the pinnacle of aesthetics for most of the people there are not into bodybuilding, so of course he looks good in the pose. And next up, this is Dave Draper, another pioneer from the 60s. He was fond of hitting these poses with his arms straightened, and he also looked great in these poses. Uh, they suited him very well. His arm looks pretty good with the biceps, but still, I think there was one more guy who was more impressive in the 60s in this pose. And that is a two-time Olympia champion, Larry Scott, the first ever to win the Olympia. This is his trademark pose. He hit it a lot, just like he hit the Mantis pose a lot. This single straight arm pose is basically only focusing on the arm, which is going to be very flattering and very convenient for Larry, the golden boy, Scott, because he had incredible arm development for the era he competed in. He had great forearms, biceps and triceps, and also a strong midsection sunk in, which made him look even more impressive. Here we can see him again. Look at the development of his arms, especially the vascular long biceps and his trademark forearm too. Really good in this pose, probably the best of all time to hit it, not just the most iconic, but overall, even physique wise, even though he's not as muscular as nowadays competitors, he still just looks very good. Larry really made this pose his own. But this is his successor, Sergio Oliva, the myth. He wasn't particularly someone who hit this pose a lot, but when he did, like on the left, he looked very decent in it. Sergio was known for his triceps development, but his forearms look very respectable and the biceps has a long muscle belly and that looks really nice in this pose too. The execution on the right is very questionable and I'm not even sure if it's Sergio, so I apologize if it's not Sergio, uh, but whatever, it's not really important. And we of course also have the Oak Arnold Schwarzenegger. He is one of the people that used to hit this pose the most. He liked it similar to Larry Scott before him. Arnold had decently developed forearms and triceps, but to be honest, they just never matched up to his peaky soaring biceps, which were just on another level. 
in this pose, it's not a problem at all to my eyes. His arms look complete enough and the gigantic biceps just give Arnie a crazy freak factor. And the rest of the physique looked really good. The waist was small, a thick chest of course. We all know that it was absolutely out of this world as well. So good in this pose, but he had a lot of trademark poses. This is just a mere one of them. Next, move on to the 80s where we have Mass with Glass, Lila Brada. I'm sorry guys, it's not the execution I would like it to be for Lila Brada, but it's similar enough, so I included these pictures. Not really that many bodybuilders actually did the pose, as far as I know, so I was happy to find anything at all. Back to Lido, he had a very eye-pleasing physique, aesthetic, his midsection looked good, and he was a good poser, so just to mention him. And this is a similar physique to Lilo Brothers, also shorter and very aesthetic and complete. The 90s uncrowned Mr. Olympia, arguably, of course, Sean Ray. He's not hitting the pose the proper way either, but again, I don't think there was anyone who did hit it properly in the 90s. So I went with Sean Ray. With his nice midsection, chest, shoulders and the legs, which looked pretty good. He's, of course, gonna look very impressive in this pose, and his arms look good too. And now we move all the way to nowadays bodybuilding stages, because to my knowledge, in the 2000s and 2010s, there were no noteworthy open class bodybuilders executing the single straight arm pose uh, that used it in their posing routines, which is very sad, but Maybe there were some, I just couldn't find them. Anyway, this is a classic physique icon, Wesley Vissers, a very classic golden era type of body, and he loves to hit this pose, which I appreciate immensely. Wes looks just like Arnold or Larry Scott, which is nice to see in this day and age, if you ask me. I mean, look at him again in this pose. His arm development is pretty awesome and the rest of the physique is very very impressive the execution is virtually perfect very well done Wesley good job on the execution for sure and another classic physique division bodybuilder of today's era we have one picture of Logan Franklin he doesn't do this pose on stage to my knowledge um, I don't know why because I reckon he would look very good in it here in this photo we can't see much, but he looks pretty awesome, so again, just to showcase him. And this is a newcomer in the Classic Physique division, Brian Jones, who we're gonna end the video with. I hope he keeps doing this post because it's a great post to do, and I hope he can work more on the execution because it looks sort of forced, but other than that, he looks pretty good. His whole body just looks very classic in this pose he already does look impressive i would just like him to hold his arm a bit more naturally so guys wrapping this up let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about this video and if i ever forgot about anyone who hits this pose good also you can tell us what you think about the pose if you're fond of it or not a fan and why because i definitely am a fan and i find it pretty sad that there's a lack of bodybuilders hitting it thank you so much for watching don't forget to watch some single straight arm pose videos and also like and subscribe enjoy the rest of your day